God rest ye merry gentlemen, and nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father, the blessed angel came, and unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. The bird in Bethlehem was born, the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Away in the manger, no grip for a Oh, 
morning we're going to do something a little bit different. So if you are a child, or a child at heart, and I know there are a few of you here, if you are a child and you'd like to join me on stage, I would love to read a story to you, and we'll also look at scripture. So come on up. Hey, if you're a kid, a kid at heart, just come on up. Come on up. we got plenty of room. The manger is, is empty. If you come up, I have a gift for you. Does that make a difference? Okay, now I'm starting to see a few more Here people. Here comes this. Suddenly in the sky, there rose such a sight. One angel and then many appeared in the night. The heavens rejoiced as their story unfurled. A baby, a savior, had been born to the world. So the shepherds arose to search for the place, to get a close look at the baby's sweet face. Then, out of the east, there came royalty, whose mission was finding the Savior, you see. When they finally found the babe, they had sought gold, frankincense, and myrrh were the gifts that they brought. So the wise men bowed down and praised his sweet name. Soon all those who had heard would rejoice that he came. And now we that know can say with delight, Jesus was born on that first Christmas night. In Luke chapter 2 and also in Matthew chapter 2, we read the Christmas story from the Bible. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him 
in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. In Matthew chapter 2, now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is this that is born the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and they worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Isn't it great that God gave us his perfect gift, his son, Jesus? Yes. Isn't it great? Yes. And just as Katie showed us last, was it Sunday? Was it yesterday? I mean, last Sunday? When she did the presenting herself as a gift back to God. That's what we can do. God gave his son as a gift to us. And what we can do this Christmas is give our lives to him. I hope that you had a great Christmas. And I hope that you know Jesus, the Christ of Christmas. I know that many of you do because I've baptized you. <laughs> <laughs> And I've talked with you, and I know your heart. Well, in the season of giving, I have a little gift for each one of you. And if there's some extra, those of you that were too shy to come up with that. <laughs> but inside is a little ornament and some candy. Yes, I'm going to sugar them up and send them home to you. <laughs> and on the outside is the... Uh, the symbolism of the candy cane, and you can read that. You've probably heard that before. But I just wanted to give each of you a little something for Christmas. Can we um, bow our heads and pray and ask God to bless the rest of the day? Lord, we thank you that at just the right time in human history, you sent your son to be born of a virgin, to live a perfect life, to eventually go to Calvary's cross and die for us. Your word tells us that without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. So Lord, we know that you were born that you might die for us. And Lord, we just praise your holy name that you did not leave us in our sin, but that you sent your Son to redeem us, to forgive us, so, Lord, we, as we celebrate this day, the day that you sent your Son into this world, we just, we stand in awe. And we say, glory, glory. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. We thank you for the precious gift of your Son. We pray that this day would be a day that you would be honored. And as we leave this place today, we pray that as we go with our families, that you would be high and lifted up in our lives. 
Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And you're dismissed. Pray that you have a great Christmas day. And if there's any gifts left, you can have them.